Hi, I'm Priya Gavargadia, and this is AI Simplified, where we learn to make your data useful. In the last few episodes, we have been covering different components of Vertex AI to get you familiar with different features. In this video, I thought we would help a friend of mine get into yoga. So we're building a yoga pose classification model for some simple yoga poses. This will help her hone her yoga skills. First of all, let's see how we will make this happen. We need the data to create our models with. This would be in the form of images, and let's say we want to focus on five poses, the tree, the goddess, the warrior two, plank, and down dog. My colleague Sarah and I have collected a bunch of images from our yoga practice that we will be using to train this model. Our first step would be to ingest these images using the managed data sets and then label them appropriately. Then comes training the model, and since this is an image classification problem, it's a good fit for AutoML. And as we covered in the last episode, you can totally create a custom model from scratch if you wanted to, but AutoML is just the right fit for this particular image classification problem. Once our model is trained, we will evaluate it to understand the quality of our model and indicate areas of improvement. Now, AutoML UI provides us with easy to understand charts for this that we will demystify when I show you the console. Then we will need an endpoint to serve our models for predictions. After training our AutoML model, we will be able to deploy an endpoint with just one click. Now that we have laid out the data requirements and how we will train our model, we are ready to jump into the console and make it happen. First thing we need is the data. For this step, my friend Sarah and I collected a bunch of images from our yoga practice and uploaded them into the managed datasets. As you see here, the images are labeled in five categories. I can even upload unlabeled images and label them. We can analyze our data set to see that we have enough examples of each categories. Now we are ready to train our model. In here, I'm selecting AutoML for training method. You can also train a model to deploy on the edge or on premise, or use custom training if you're writing your own custom model code. Now we define our model. AutoML automatically splits the data into training, validation, and test, but we can change it if we want to. In compute and pricing, we get to select how many node hours we want to train the model. At this point, we wait for the model to train. Once it is trained, we see it in the model tab and can evaluate the model. We can see our model's average precision. It ranges from zero to one, where a higher value indicates a higher quality model. We can see that the confusion matrix helps us understand where our model is confusing two results. Now that we have evaluated our model, it's time to deploy it to an endpoint. We can split traffic between two models deployed on the same endpoint if needed. Allocate the number of nodes needed for this endpoint. Depending on where your users are, select the region to deploy your endpoint. And that's it. Hit deploy and we have an endpoint. Now we can test our endpoint and the model by uploading an image. And yay, it works. You can also make predictions using the SDK. All right, so today we created a yoga pose classification model where we uploaded our data sets in Vertex AI labeled our images in the UI, and then used AutoML to train our model. Then we evaluated it and then deployed it for making predictions with just one click. I know my friend will be extremely happy to use this model to hone her yoga skills. Stay tuned for the next episode, which is all about using Vertex AI SDK. In the meantime, give us a like and subscribe and share with me your thoughts about this series in the comments below.